Good morning and welcome. Thanks for joining in today. Today we are going to talk about how do kidneys work in our body. So in this season, as you know, we're talking about kidneys. In my last video, I spoke about the anatomy of the kidneys. So if you're not sure what the kidneys look like and what is the main structure of the kidney, so please do watch that video. Before I talk about what the kidneys do in our body and how they work, it's important to understand that every living thing, whether it's a plant or an animal or us humans, we make waste in our body. Every cell in our body, every part of our body, when it works, it creates waste. If that waste is not removed from the body, that will collect in our body and that waste is toxic, is poisonous to our body and that will eventually kill our body. So in the humans, there are three main organs which remove the waste from our body. One is the lungs, one is the liver and one is the kidney. If you remove any of these organs from our body, we will not be able to survive for very long. That is why people who are in kidney failure, whose kidneys do not work normally, they need, to, need support for the kidney to remove the waste from our body that kidney normally removes. So inside the kidney, there are tubes. So there is like a cup and from the cup arises a tube. And these tubes are very, very minute. You cannot see it with the naked eye. You have to look at it under the microscope and there are thousands of those in each kidney. And they're very complex tubes. I've drawn a very simple diagram of it. Into this cup comes a blood vessel, which brings blood into this cup, which is the red eye drawn, which is the artery. So please watch my video on the anatomy of the kidney the blood vessels that bring blood into the art into the kidney and that is called the renal artery and it divides into smaller branches and those smaller branches come into the cup and the rejoin and all the leftover blood is pumped out to the kidney with the renal vein now this cup and the blood vessel these small little blood vessels have got holes in their walls it's like a sieve so when the blood comes in, as you know, blood contains water. Blood contains very important things for our body. Blood is the logistic system in our body. It's like a, a transport system which takes minerals like sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium around our body. It also takes dirty stuff from our body, the waste that is our body is producing to different parts of our body. It also takes nutrition to different parts of our body. For example, glucose, proteins, etc. So when the blood comes into the kidney, into this cup-like structure and this tube, this cup-like structure in the tube is called the nephron, which is the basic structure of the kidney on which the kidney relies. If this structure is destroyed or does not work normally, then the patient goes into kidney failure. As I said, these blood vessels and this cup has got holes in it. In the wall, there are holes in it. And the water from the blood and many minerals from the blood, like sodium, potassium, hydrogen, etc., they come out of the blood into the cup. And from the cup, it runs down the tube. Now, how much water and minerals come out of it? Gallons of water in a day, literally gallons of water come from the blood into this nephron together with the salts, which is sodium, potassium, calcium, etc., etc. The holes are not so big that essential thing that our body requires, like glucose and proteins, they do not come out because their molecule is quite large and they cannot come out of these holes and can't come out easily. However, if our body loses gallons of water every day, then obviously we will get dehydrated and we will shrink like a prune. Also, if our body loses so much salt, like sodium, potassium, which are going out from the blood into this nephron, running down out into the urine, then our body will not be able to live very long because salts is what we rely on and it is essential part of our functioning of our muscles, our heart, our brain, etc. 
So what nature does is very smart. Nature has got us different systems of pumps running down these tubes. Those pumps pump the water back into the blood, takes the water out that's been that's come out of the blood into the nephron, pumps it back into the blood. Majority of the sodium, potassium, calcium, that's all been pumped back as well. So our body does not get dehydrated. And in the end, what comes out is straw colored fluid, which is very rich in waste products. So whatever the body does not want and kidney wants to get rid of and can get rid of like urea, acid, etc., the kidney gets rid of it and it comes down and passes out through into our bladder and out as urine. So up here, gallons of water is coming out. Tons of sodium, potassium and salts are coming out, but kidney takes it back in. There's a pump working constantly, constantly day and night. It pumps it back in. So a small amount of water is left to come out and small amount of salt and obviously most of the waste that our body does not need come out as urine and in a day instead of passing gallons of urine we pass liter liter and a half of urine to get rid of the waste in our body now how do these pumps work the pumps are very smart pumps they have got some things that work on them to make them work one of two of those things are hormones one hormone is produced by our brain with a little gland in our brain, which I'm going to talk about in one of my future videos called the pituitary gland. And that hormone that comes, it works on this part of the kidney and pumps the water out. Another hormone which is produced by our adrenal gland. And I, as I said, the adrenal gland in my previous video sits on top of the kidney, again comes to the kidney through the bloodstream the hormone and works on the tubes and pumps all the sodium out and together with the sodium also helps pumping out the potassium and the chlorine. So it's a very complex system working in our body day and night, day and night, day and night, which helps us control the fluid in our body and many other things in our body to keep us ship shape, our body and our blood in a good balance. Now I'm going to briefly talk about the different function that the kidney does in our body. Without the kidneys, these functions will not happen. And without the kidneys, without these functions happening, the body will die. So in this list, I have summarized the main functions of the kidney. Kidney fun performs many more functions. One of the main functions of the kidney is to balance our body with salt. So salt by salt means I mean sodium, chloride, potassium, etc. And kidney is the main organ in our body which balances the control of these in our blood and different parts of our body. If there is too much salt in our body, uh, we will have problems. If there is too little salt in our body, then body will have problems. So kidney maintains this very fine balance. If the body has got too much salt, the kidneys will get rid of that excess salt. On the other hand, if the body has too little salt, the kidney will retain the salt and will not expel so much salt in the urine so that salt levels in our blood will come back to normal. One of the ways that our body produces is acid. Whenever our cells work, they produce acid. Too much acid in our body is harmful to our body and too little acid in our body is also harmful to our body. So our body works at a constant pH of about 7.4. That is the pH of our blood. And the kidneys are the main organs which maintain that acid level in our blood. Obviously, removal of waste, as I spoke about earlier, like removing urea from our body, which is quite toxic if it's not removed. Kidney also produces some hormones, and these hormones are very important in maintaining the red blood cells because some of these hormones stimulate our bone marrow to produce more blood so we do not become anemic. They also help us maintain blood pressure and also some of those hormones control the bones in our body. So if the kidneys are not working normally, 
then all these functions of the kidneys or that our body performs will be severely affected. If you have any further questions about the functions of the kidney, then please do write in the comments. I'll try and reply to your questions. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the tests that can be performed in the laboratory or in the hospital to check the functions of the kidneys. I hope you found this video informative. I tried my best to keep this video as non-scientific and as easy to understand as possible. I hope to see you next time and until then, thanks for watching and please do remember to subscribe.